Militic still recovering from what was a superb spinning back fist knockout by Gusena. But, Pat, we've got a rematch on our hands. And what's it going to take for Bennett to make sure that, well, lightning doesn't strike twice for Deuce Garner tonight? Well, first of all, he's got to keep his chin down because he didn't do that in the last fight. So keep the chin down, the hands up, and get his takedowns. He really needs to pay attention to that. But he's got to set his takedowns up with his hands. You know, because his opponent Garner is good at stopping takedowns. Yeah, and Garner, of course, not short on confidence. He does have the mental edge coming into the rematch, having stopped Bennett last September. But how many times have we heard a fighter who who loses, say, going into the fight that maybe he was overconfident? What does Garner's mindset have to be tonight to ensure that he picks up his second consecutive win over Bennett? Well, I think Garner is well aware that his opponent Bennett is coming for him. He's head hunting. He really wants to destroy him and shut up his mouth. He, he's he's angry. So. Garner has got to definitely stuff the takedowns and keep the big boy off of him. Uh, a three-time All-American wrestler on top of you will wear you out, and uh, Garner wants to land the bombs. So will history repeat itself, or is Pat Bennett going to be able to exact revenge? We're moments away from finding out it's Bennett versus Garner, the sequel tonight's main event. The, uh, the fight was wasn't very long. Um, I went, we went out there. I think we exchanged a couple, couple punches. And I went for um, a hip toss, and he fell on top of me. So he got a couple punches in right then. But then, but see, by my wrestling being so good, I stood right up. Like, he couldn't stop me. So. And then, Pushed them off me, and then that's when I started throwing them hammers on them, dropping down meat and potatoes on them. So, now I guess I'm gonna have to bring the um, steak. I ain't gonna tell you what the steak is, but you will see it if you get close. You will see what the steak is. <laughs> Regardless of who Penny Garner is, it's a rematch for me. It's, uh, it's an opportunity to get that loss back. I'm just coming to do, do my job. Like, this is my job, and this is what I come to do. I'm not gonna let nobody take my job. I, I, I see this fight, me going in there and pushing the pace and just creating, creating problems for him, um, him mentally breaking down. Me w winning one way or another, whether, whether it's going three rounds or knockout or submission, I'm prepared for any, all the above. If he wanna keep that mindset of he gonna fight the same person he fought in September, he might get knocked out before the two minutes and 32 seconds. Well, fans, we are ready for our heavyweight main event. And now, joining us to the blue corner, please welcome Kenny Deuce Garner. Kenny Deuce Garner wrestled at Gloucester County College in New Jersey, then moved around a lot. And one time, you know, it's always about being in the right place at the right time, or a wrong time for some people. But for Kenny Garner, he was at a friend's house, and a friend of his brother asked him if he knew how to fight. Kenny's immediate response was, quote, do you want me to punch you in the face? Well, eventually it was explained that uh, he was going to be given a chance to train with UFC fighter Dean Thomas at the time. And now he is, of course, a member of Thomas's American Top Team camp. And a guy who, uh, again, as much as he likes to talk, he also likes to rock once he's inside those yeah, training with Den Thomas. Den, Den and I have known each other for years. Den's a great trainer, so he's in good hands there. And this kid definitely can back up his mouth. Uh, likes to knock people out, that's for sure. And speaking of knocking people out, that's exactly what he did in his last outing uh, in October of last year against... Look at the uh, the, the, the women there, even. He's, he's all about the showmanship. Yeah, definitely. Here he is against Guggen Sheely. He had... A guillotine choke there, and he got overzealous there. Overzealous with the uh, overhand right. And Gorm knocked, uh, locked on the guillotine choke and was able to finish him. He didn't tap, though. He went to sleep, going out on his shield. And, of course, we, we didn't see the knockout there, but Gugicvili, of course, is what both of these guys want. Garner wants to avenge that loss. Bennett was supposed to face the undefeated M1 Challenge heavyweight champion. So Gugicvili, who went through a training injury, couldn't defend the title tonight. A win here, an emphatic win here by either of these two could definitely set him up for a title shot. Yeah, they're looking for the gold, but they better not look past each other. And now, joining us to the red corner, introducing Pat 
Bennett. Matt Bennett was a three-time All-American wrestler in Division III, Sonny Brockport. In only a second pro fight, he faced future Bellator heavyweight champion and a wrestling stud in his own right in Cole Conrad. He's trained at uh, Team Bomb Squad, which used to be the home of current UFC light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones in upstate New York. Also the Pin to Win Combat Academy, which is run by National Wrestling Hall of Fame member Gene Mills. And Pat, I know in a couple of weeks, you're going to be inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame on July 23rd. Congratulations to you. I know it's going to be a big honor to be inducted by one of your heroes, Dan Gable. Absolutely. But you know, in, in reference to Bennett, you know, his, his match where he went the distance with legendary wrestler Cole Con Conrad comes from coaching from legendary coach Gene Mills, definitely. Gene Mills is one of the best coaches I've ever seen and one of the best wrestlers to ever walk the planet. Let's take a look at Bennett's last outing, which uh, took place in December of last year. He was up against Volkov, who is a, a very good striker. Kid likes to throw bombs. Bennett using his wrestling, making sure that he can get Volkov off his feet as much as he could. Make Volkov carry his weight. Here he is driving through on a double leg takedown, getting Volkov back down. Here's Volkov throwing some punches. Another takedown, and that proved to be the difference was his wrestling ability giving him uh, the decision. Yeah, over Alexander Volkov at M1 Challenge in December last year as we go to the tail of the tape for this, the main event in the heavyweight division. Pat Bennett is eight years younger. He's got a three-inch height advantage, but Kenny Garner is 16 and a half pounds heavier at weigh-in time. We'll see if that helps him or hurts him if this fight goes for a while. All right. Here now with the official introductions for tonight's main event, the one and only Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the hangar here at the Orange County Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa, California, as M1 Global and Showtime present the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Bravado, makers of the Bravado Five Pack and brewing true Mexican heritage since 1923. Tonight's action is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman is John Frierson, executive officer George George Dodd. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds scheduled in a heavyweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from Costa Mesa, California, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at six feet even, he weighed in at 256 and one half pounds. His record six wins, three losses, with four wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the freestyle heavyweight striker from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Introducing Kenny Garner. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, standing at six feet, three inches. He weighed in at 240 pounds. With a record of four wins and two losses, he has two wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the wrestling and Muay Thai train fighter from Marcellus, New York, introducing Pat Bennett. And our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Big John McCarthy. Kenny. I just never went over the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Don't obey my commands at all times. I have a clean, fair fight. Touch gloves now if you want to touch them. Step on back so we can start. All right, we are set for the main event here at the hangar in Orange County, California. Big John McCarthy gets set to begin the proceedings. Heavyweight action with Kenny Deuce Garner and Pat Bennett. Bennett looking to avenge his last loss. Garner wanting to get another crack at heavyweight champion Guram Gugachvili. And Bennett with a Superman punch to kick things off. <laughs> Love it when wrestlers do stuff like that. Misses with the left hook, however, ducking under was Garner. The knee from the clinch responded in kind by Bennett. No feeling out process with the big boys tonight. They are swinging for the fences early. Chin down, boys. Chin down. And again, missing with the left hand, allowing Garner to close the gap. Wants to push Bennett along the ropes. 
30 seconds gone in a frenetic pace to kick off the feature attraction here at M1 Challenge. Garner did all that work using his 16 pound weight advantage to push Bennett all the way over to the ropes. Bennett just took one step to, step to the side, wrestling technique, and turned uh, Garner. Now Garner turning the tables on him, a little jockeying for position. Right hand to the body, another one by Garner. Bennett trying to pummel, they both pummel. And again, Bennett, oh, nice knee right up the middle by Bennett. Catches the attention of Garner, backs up on the exit, misses with the overhand right. Bennett gets tagged in the face, and really, Pat, not a lot of technique here, my friend, but they are just letting go. Left hook to the jaw, Bennett stands right up to it. Bennett's making a big mistake. He's leaning backwards when the hooks are coming. That's what you don't want to do. You want to step inside of him. If you lean back, they'll clip you, and that's what happened there. This is a rather unorthodox striking to the uh, quadriceps area with the uh, punch by Garner. Now a knee up the middle, trying to create that space. I'm surprised Bennett hasn't tried for a takedown. As the underhook, as a 50-50 right now on Garner with John McCarthy them to work their way out. 50-50, is that what they call it in Canada? Isn't that the 50-50 position? You've got the over-under? Yeah, it's an over-under. Call it an over-under, tough guy. <laughs> oh, man, he gets jacked and Garner oh. almost went down, and then it's Bennett's turn. These two both showcasing titanium jaws thus far. That's exchange there. <laughs> and a knee right up the middle. Oh, and then there's a right hand to the jaw again. It's Bennett just now bending over. Oh, Garner rips a body shot, another body shot. Yeah, those hurt. Oh, there's a knee from Garner. A lot of strikes in this one. Bennett gets tagged, moves out of the way. Garner coming full board now with the left hand, his mouthpiece. Bennett's mouthpiece almost popping out. Yeah, and he looked up at the big screen to see what was going on. You're in the fight, son. You don't gotta look up there. Accidental. Don't grab the ankle pick momentarily was Garner. And there's Bennett is cut. On the forehead, I believe, just on the hairline, it looks like, Pat. Yeah, somewhere up in there. It doesn't oh. look, yeah, it's starting to bleed more now. Man, Garner just continues to dig away at the, you know, far be it from me to say soft belly, but it is a, you know, soft <laughs> belly for Bennett. Too much pasta, Italian. Too much homemade yuck in that last trip. Now the one-two from Bennett, but Garner gets tagged with the right hand. And really, forget about defense. These two just want to finish each other here in round one. Garner's doing a pretty good job, though, moving his head and coming back over the top. Now is that cut going to become a factor? Knee from Garner, so far it hasn't trickled into his eye. There's another right hand to the chin. Now Bennett finally puts his hands up, goes for the tie plumb. Knee grazes off the forehead of Garner. Bennett's really, I'm, I'm really worried he's not keeping his hands up and he's tilting his head backwards. He's, it, it really worries me when kids do that and they're gonna get clipped. Meanwhile, Garner continues to take advantage of the, the body shots using those short hands, scoring on the judges' scorecards, or they should be. And there's another one. Now a knee from Bennett. Not a lot of oomph behind it, however. Now separates on the exit. One, two. There's an uppercut. Knee from Garner. Nice exchanges by these guys. Very nice They're exchanges. These are two big boys. And 45 seconds left. Let's go. Now the double leg attempt by Garner. Bennett defending thus far. Now the left and right from Bennett on Garner along the ropes. It's a lot of activity for two big boys. The question is how much is going to be left in their gas tanks after this furious start to round one. Their first meeting had already expired last September with Garner taking care of Bennett midway through the opening round. Bennett so far surviving the first five minutes, but he does have that cut on the left side of his head. Final 10 seconds of what has been an entertaining opening round between heavyweights Kenny Deuce Garner and Pat Bennett with Bennett securing the takedown and maybe enough to take the round. Absolutely, I mean, they, but they both stayed very active, effective striking by both. Listen, Pat, listen. The combination of moves. Keep your hands up, alright? Hey, excellent round. Water, take your mouthpiece out. 
Now, what about the damage to his head? Is that enough to give him the round? No, I, I really don't. I mean, I, I think it's it's minor. It's in the hair. It's not over an eye. I don't think it's going to affect the fight. So how did you score the first five? Very, very, cl very close. I mean, uh, I think Garner did a little better striking. Uh, Listen to Dick Thomas here. Sorry, Pat. Uh, sorry, finish your thought there, bud. Oh, Dick Thomas making good, uh, giving good advice there. Going to the body and then coming back upstairs. Smart by Dick to uh, tell Garner that. Here we go, you ready? So did you, did we know who, uh, who you gave the first round to, or are you sitting on the fence? Very close, very close. 10-10 round from Coach Militant. Oh, Garner unloads the left, right through the guard. And another one, and Bennett now counters with the left of his own. These guys are bouncing off the ropes. Nice job by Bennett there. He just heaved Garner off to the side and then threw the right hand right afterward. Attained the angle by launching his opponent to the angle. Nice uppercuts for Garner. And again, working that the body shots have to be taking their total eventually. Well, it, it at least changes the breathing pattern of your opponent because he's got to tighten up his body and that doesn't allow him to breathe as well. Tied, but long the rope, he needs to turn the tables. Garner's been initiating the offense on the exit. The right hand now has Bennett in trouble again. Left to right, Bennett feeling wobbly. Jacked him with that uppercut. This is where I expect Bennett to, he really needs to look oh, for the takedown. To the forehead, right hand and a left. Down goes Bennett. Garner with the right and Big John has waved it off. Make it two straight for Deuce Garner. The Deuce is loose in M1 Challenge. Another stoppage victory over Pat Bennett. What a fun fight. Backs up the mouth. <laughs> Don't you wish you could say the same? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kenny Deuce Gardner picks up his seventh win, fifth to be a form of knockout. Pat Bennett on his back, being tended to by the doctors, making sure he's okay. Garner coming out with some heavy leather in this round. Definitely wanting to finish. Nice shot by with the left shoulder, through the right hand, got things started. Left hook, right hand, and just kept the pressure on. Good head movement, got out of the way of the counter from Bennett, and really got things rolling for him. Barely missing with the knee. Then boom, landing the right hand. And then the hook puts him down. Beautiful job by Garner. Really uh, kept the pressure on and, and smelled the blood and went for it. One more time. Here he is, throwing the knee, throwing the right hand, and then the hook. Drops Bennett to his back, adds one more for good measure, and, uh, and it's over. Garner backs up the mouth, as I said. Here it is, the knee barely misses. Right away capitalizing, though. Bennett leaning back again with his hands down, got him in trouble. Eventually, uh, you know, the bad defense paid off for Garner. Garner just stayed after it and landed. He comes over and talks to us a little bit, too. Good kid, very marketable. I like him. Let's go for the official announcement in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 15 seconds in round number two. He is the winner by way of knockout, Kenny Garner. Kenny Deuce Garner picking up your second straight win via form of knockout over Pat Bennett. How much sweeter was it the second time around? Um, he got a nice little punch. Congratulations, he's been working a little bit. I like that. So now I'm coming to get my belt. I forgot your name, Grim, or whatever you is. Grim Guggenspiele. I'm coming. And why it's going to be different the second time around? You've, you've already been submitted by him. What changes will you be making in order to make sure that you take the title away from him? <sighs> I'm going to beat your brains out <laughs> like a professional. I was a little sloppy tonight. I'm sorry. But I'll be better next time. I'm giving love to everybody. 
Snap, Hardcore, M1 Global, Crystal Palace, my man right here, I forgot his name. No worries, let's take a look at the uh, the replay of the finish of the fight here, Deuce. How did you uh, how did you finish Bennett this time around? Take us through the replay. Let's see. Right, left, oh, Suki now. Out, hold, put your hands up. Tell me don't hit you no more. Tell me don't hit you no more. Okay. There he is, Kenny Deuce Garner, the winner of your main event. And I wanna get one more shout out to my to my one of my sponsors, Crystal Palace, the Bat Cave. I think it's time for you to relax and party a little bit, buddy. Love that. Julian! All right, Kenny Deuce Garner, victorious in the main event with his second win over Pat Bennett. Here's a look at what's coming up on Showtime. And keep God first. The Giants are world champions. This show's gonna be good for us because it's gonna show what actually goes behind the scenes. We're about having a good time, but when we take the field, it's business. The franchise, a season with the San Francisco Giants, only on Showtime. Showtime presents an expose on the dangers of therapy going high tech. Bad behavior, intimate secrets, startling confessions, and that's just the therapist. It's three minute sessions, which is why it works. I mean, nothing you've said in your 50 minute sessions has ever even been slightly interesting. Lisa Kudrow is Fiona Wallace. Let's not think about that. Okay. Let's just think about how sad your life is. And if she's your therapist, you've got problems. Are you finding that you need to wear bras? No, I never had that impulse not ever yet. When Web Therapy premieres Tuesday, July 19th at 11, only on Showtime. Marine Sergeant Nicholas Brody, MIA since early 2003 and presumed dead until now. What were his exact words? An American prisoner of war has been turned. Homeland, coming this fall, only on Showtime. Yo, guys, whoop it up. All right. And one so, goal, baby. Kenny Deuce American Garner, Pat team. picks up his second baby. consecutive Four victory over Lucy. Pat Bennett, does it via a form of knockout for the second time. It took him a little longer. Yeah, he, but he loves, uh, loves the KO, and he uh, continued with that tonight. Nice work. All right, stay tuned. Coming up next, it's an encore presentation of Inside NASCAR. And for more on all Showtime Sports telecasts, log on to our website, sports.show.com. Also, you can fan us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for real-time news and information. All right, Pat, let's recap the night of action here at the hangar in Orange County. The